I, 18 female, started college a couple of months ago, and my parents had always promised me that I would not have to worry about paying my way through college or getting a job or any of that because they had a college form set aside for me and that's where the money would be coming from. They had done the same thing for my brother earlier. So it was only fair that I get the same kind of treatment. I have an older brother, Tyler, 21 male, and I don't want to sound like I'm jealous, but he has always had it better than me. And I can't help but resent him a little bit for it because it's not like he's an easy person to live with either. I have never been able to figure out why, but my parents have always gone easier on him than they have been on me. Everything he does, he just gets away with it and never has any consequences for whatever stupid things he tries to do. He used to constantly get into trouble at school for the most ridiculous reasons. One time he got into trouble for bringing a can of beer to school and popping one in class. He said that he did it on a dare, but I think he was just trying to push everybody's buttons and see how much he could get away with. He was a good student. He did not get into much trouble at school, given what he had done, and he was just suspended for a couple of days. But this is just a little example of the kind of things that he gets away with. At home, he did not get into any trouble. And for those days, he did not go to school. He was just chilling, playing video games. He was not grounded. He did not even get reprimanded for what he did. And in fact, my parents actually laughed it off. Meanwhile, I know for a fact that if I had tried to do something similar, I would have been grounded for weeks and there would have been really bad consequences for it. So I would say that my parents have always been a lot harder on me when it comes to discipline than they have been on him. I've tried to make it known to them. I think that they have been treating me unfairly, but every time I try to bring it up, they start acting like I'm just jealous of my brother and that's even worse than just being scolded and having consequences for little things. So for the past couple of years, I have been trying not to let it get to me. I know that my parents are not going to change and they are constantly going to favor my brother over me, no matter what kind of stupid things he does. And I am just done trying to make them see how unfair it is on me. But then what happened a couple of days ago, that was just unacceptable and I absolutely had to do something about it. A couple of months ago, Tyler graduated from college and he bought a luxury sports car just a few weeks before he graduated since he was turning 21. He had no job, no money and hadn't even graduated when he bought that car. He used the credit card that my dad had given to him for his personal use and had a certain amount of money in that account. He had been authorized as a user for a really long time, so my dad did not have to be present for the purchase, and he took it on alone, so he will be able to pay the entire price in installments in the future. I was in college around that time, and one day he just video called the entire family and showed us a car that he had bought for himself. I expected my parents to be mad about it because, like I said, he had no money and no idea how he was going to pay back the amount in the future. He hadn't even graduated yet, and there was still a couple of weeks for that. Instead, they were quite happy about it and seemed to be supportive of what he had done, which was crazy because it was completely impractical, and I personally felt that he should cancel the purchase and get back his money. But anyway, it was my dad's car, technically, so I could not comment on it. And I just congratulated him and let it slide. After that, he graduated and got a job working for my uncle as an assistant. And for two months, he was able to pay the installments. But this month, he defaulted on the very third payment itself. I don't want to be the person who says, I told you so. But I didn't know that this was going to happen. And exactly what I had predicted is what happened. My parents called me up in the middle of the night a couple of days ago to tell me what happened. And I tried to tell them that the only thing that he could do was surrender the car and hope for the best. But my parents said that this was his first car and it shouldn't have to end this way. 
Honestly, I don't even know why they were calling me because it did not seem to be like they were asking me for advice. And even if they did need advice, I don't think an 18-year-old college student was the person to go to in a situation like this. I thought they were just going to whine about what had happened and complain for a bit since my brother was pretty depressed about this whole search. And I so badly wanted to drop their face in it. But I refrained from doing that because I wanted to find out what exactly it was that they were calling me to talk to me about. And in a couple of minutes, I found out exactly why they were calling me in the middle of the night. After beating about the bush for a couple of minutes, my parents finally told me that my brother had been unable to clear the payment. They had decided to pay off the amount for that month from their own pockets. I thought that it was fairly normal for parents to do that. And I did not understand why they were calling to tell me that. But then they told me that by their own pockets, they meant my college fund that they had set aside specifically for my use. And they told me that after giving it a bit of thought, they had decided that it would be best if they decided to pay off the rest of the amount since they did not think that my brother would be able to do it and they did not want to ruin the credit score that my father had. So they had decided that they were going to use my college fund to pay off the rest of the installments for the car and I will probably have to get a job. And they were hoping that it would not come to that, but just in case, they were warning me beforehand. I obviously lost my temper at that point because this is not something that had been a part of the plan. I don't mean to sound entitled, but they had promised me something and I expected them to be able to live up to their promise especially because this was not my fault that I was going to have to suffer the consequences of it. It was my brother's fault, my brother's problem, and I expected him to deal with it, not me. I made it much clearer than that. This bright idea that had come to them, it was absolutely not fair to me, and I was not going to be fine with it, so they had to look for alternatives. My parents only had one thing to say, and it was that this was their own money, and my college fund was just something that they had believed was going to support me. But now, since there was an emergency, they believed it would be better for them to use that to pay off the installments instead. And I just had to understand where it was coming from. I kept trying to tell them that they could just surrender the car instead of jeopardizing my future. But they told me that it was my brother's first car. And for sentimental reasons, they could not. It was crazy to me that they had sentimental reasons not to give up, but it was quite easy for them to give up on my education and my future. If they had told me right from the beginning that I would have to work my way through college and for the college tuition myself, I would not have had a problem with this. But what they were doing is absolutely unacceptable. After arguing with them for a bit, I realized that there was no point in talking to them since they had already very obviously made up their minds. And so I decided to hang up and do what I had planned on doing if a situation like this ever arose. I called my grandparents up and told them everything. My grandparents on my mother's side of the family, they have always been very supportive of me and they understand how my parents have been treating me. I had half a mind to start living with them at some point, but then decided not to do that because they were already pretty aged and I did not want to be a burden on them. I know that they would never say it themselves, but I'm just not the kind of person who would want to do that just for my own convenience. In probability, if I had ever told them that I wanted to live with them, they would have definitely come to me with open arms, but I don't know. I just had my own apprehension about it, regardless of how kindly they treated me. I love them and I know that they love me, but I had my reasons. They were already doing enough for me. I did not want to add on as an extra. My parents would deny me something. I would always go to my grandparents and they would do it for me. It was mostly just silly, but this was a big deal. Since college tuition was not a laughing matter and it was actually quite a lot of money, asking them for that sort of money would be kind of complicated for me. And that's why 
I have been really grateful to my parents when they had told me that they had a college fund set aside for me right from the beginning. But now that the situation had changed, I absolutely had to go to my grandparents because there was no way that I was going to suffer the consequences of something that was not even my fault. I was really distressed and upset when I called them up. So they told me that I could come back home for the weekend and talk to them in person because clearly this was not something that could be discussed over the phone in just a couple of minutes. And luckily, it was Friday that day, so I went home the very next day. I did not visit my parents and I did not entertain any phone calls and messages from them. I went straight to my grandparents' place and there I spilled everything. I ended up crying because I was so distraught and I told him that I really did not want to be a burden on them, financially or otherwise, but I just needed them to help me out here because I wanted to finish my education. But my parents were putting me in a really difficult spot. My grandfather was really pissed off by whatever I had told him, and he told me instantly that I did not have to worry about any of this, and I could go back to college and be completely stress-free because they were going to be there for me no matter what. That made me feel a little relieved and told me that they would handle the college tuition if my parents found themselves unable to do so. Once they had given me the reassurance, I calmed down and I blocked my parents and my brother because I did not want anything to do with them after that. They had put me in a really difficult position and I was never going to forgive them for that. I spent last Saturday with my grandparents and on Sunday evening, I was about to leave and go back to college. My college campus is an hour away from where my grandparents and parents live, so it was quite easy for me to travel back and forth in case anybody had any questions about that. But when I came back to college, I started receiving several calls and messages from my uncle. I did not know what that was about because my uncle and I don't really keep in touch and even though we have a normal relationship, I did not expect him to be calling me frequently. At first, I was ignoring him that this would have something to do with my parents, but after a while, I got really curious, so I ended up answering one of his phone calls and then he told me to unblock my parents immediately because they were really pissed and they wanted to talk to me. He told me that he was kind of annoyed with them because they kept bothering him, trying to convince him to talk to me, to get me to talk to them. And it was going on and on. So he told me to get back in touch with them. And so I did just to know what they wanted to talk to me about. When I called my parents up, they put me on blast immediately and started yelling at me about how I had ruined their lives and turned my grandparents against them which is just so wrong on so many levels. They accused me of trying to get revenge on them for trying to do something good for my brother and that I was jealous of him and that my jealousy had gotten as ugly as possible. I had no idea what they were talking about since my grandparents had just promised me that they would cover my college tuition and they definitely could not have a problem with that because I don't think it was going to affect them. But I was wrong since it did affect them. Apparently, my grandparents had called them after I had left and told them that they were going to get the money that was going to come out of their inheritance. And even in the future, if I needed anything, that was also going to come out of the inheritance. So they had just screwed up and now they were going to have to face the consequences for it. I thought that it was completely fair since essentially my grandparents were just doing with them what they had done to me. I did not see anything wrong with it, but they were very upset. They think that I did all of the same on purpose to get back at them. And even though that was not my intention, I don't mind the consequences of what is happening. My parents were practically fuming on the phone call and kept accusing me of everything that occurred to them without even thinking for a second that this might have been their own fault. So I decided to tell them that they deserved all of this and then I hung up and blocked them again. Now I have nothing left to say to them. After that, they did not get in touch with me again because they could not since they had no more access as I had blocked them. But they did put up a post on social media 
and tried to put all the blame for this on me. I got to know about it from a couple of my family members who were still on my side. To my surprise, some people are actually saying that I should be more understanding. People are even calling me entitled now, which I don't understand. The fact of the matter is that my parents had promised me and told me for years that they would take care of my college expenses when I started. I expected them to be able to live up to that promise and I didn't think there's anything wrong with that. Have, had they never promised me anything of the sort, I would have been perfectly fine with paying my way through college and working. I don't think that's entitled of me to demand what I had been promised. And coming to my brother and his situation, I don't understand why people are being so compassionate towards him and not me. He was the one who made a terrible decision by purchasing a car that he did not have any idea how he was going to pay for. I don't think he deserves anybody's sympathy right now. And on the other hand, I'm just trying to make my way through college so I can get a good job in the future and maybe buy a car like that when I actually might be able to pay for my own money. If anything, people should be sympathizing with me instead of him and I just can't wrap my head around what's going on right now. I'm just so confused by the reaction of my family members to the post that my parents had put up and I don't know what to say anymore. My grandparents keep trying to reassure me that it's going to be fine and people just don't know my side of the story, which is why they are calling me entitled and all that other ridiculous stuff. But I'm just not sure anymore. I feel upset and I want to know if I actually am entitled or not. So AITA, because I asked my grandparents for help when my parents told me that they would not be able to pay for my college tuition like they had promised. Update one. Hi, so I have given it some thought and now I don't really feel bad about what happened anymore. I did the right thing. My grandparents did the right thing. And if there is anybody who is in the wrong in the situation, it's got to be my parents. I don't even blame my brother. He's just stupid. But his stupidity has always been encouraged by my parents and they have never done anything to put an end to it. They have never said anything to him that might make him think twice before doing whatever he wants. They have always encouraged him to do anything that he wishes to without thinking of the consequences of it. And they have always been ready to pay the price for it. Well, they can do that on their own dime. But they also have to realize that there are consequences of what they do. And this is just part of it. I have decided to block out all the negative comments from my head that I read earlier. These relatives even know me and they don't even know what I have been through. Most importantly, they only know one side of the story, which is my parents' side. And from that, they have made so many judgments about me. They have no idea about the fact that my parents were the ones who promised me that they were going to take care of my expenses when I was in college. And they were the ones who failed to live up to that promise and screwed up on purpose. So now I think what my grandparents are doing to them is completely fair. I have had a discussion with my grandparents about this and they told me that they were going to try and get that post taken down. So I'm going to leave it up to them, but I'm not going to meddle in the situation anymore. I'm just sick and tired of dealing with my parents. They're just not cut out to be my parents. Maybe they're perfect for Tyler, but as my parents, they are failures at that. I feel a lot more relieved now after reading the comments on my original post. Most of you were on my side and I really appreciate that. Some of you still had the audacity to call me entitled, even after I told everybody repeatedly that it was my parents who made that promise to me. And that's the only reason why I had expected them to handle my college tuition. There is nothing entitled about that. And if people still want to call me that, they can go ahead. I don't care. I know who I am and I know what I stand for. So it really doesn't matter to me if people want to misconstrue my words on purpose and make me seem like the bad guy. Be it my relatives or people on Reddit, it does not matter to me anymore because I know I'm being true to myself and that's all that matters. Update 2. 
So it has been a week since my parents put up that post and today I got to know from a couple of my relatives that they had taken it down. These are not the same relatives calling me entitled on the post. These are different people. These people are actually on my side. They had reached out to me earlier when my parents originally made their post and told me about it. One of them is a cousin on my father's side of the family. Another person on my side here is my aunt and her family, my mom's first cousin. These people, along with my grandparents, have been extremely supportive of me and have checked up on me for the last couple of days to make sure that I am doing all right. They have also been trying to talk to my parents and get them to take down their post as it was really affecting me negatively. I know that I said I would not let the comments get to me, but I had made a fake account to stalk their profile and read the comments, even though I knew that it was not good for me. I just had to know what people were saying about me and it was really getting to me. Before anybody says it, I know that it was an incredibly stupid decision on my part, but curiosity just got the better of me and I don't know what I was thinking. I've been very upset about it because these were people who had known me my entire life and even then they were siding with my parents. I couldn't believe that people actually thought that I was jealous of Tyler. It was all incredibly hurtful, but thankfully my family managed to get that post taken down somehow. My grandparents told me that they had managed to do it by telling my parents that the longer the post stayed up, the more they would lose out on their inheritance and that's what finally got them to take it down. I can't believe that people can be so greedy for money that they don't even consider their daughter anymore, considering the fact that they have not even bothered to get in touch with me once after the phone call, even though I unblocked them all, because I wanted them to be able to have access to me in case they wanted to apologize, but they did not bother to do that, probably because they don't even think that they are wrong here. They know that this is their fault and I'm not in the wrong, or else they never would have made that post, excluding my side of the story. But still, they want to make me feel like the bad guy and constantly villainize me for wanting what's best for myself. Not even my brother seems to care which is just ridiculous, given the fact that even though he had never exactly been my friend, we had at least had some sort of relationship. I'm just really disappointed in my family. I don't even know why I decided to unblock them and give them a chance to apologize to me. I should have known that they were never going to acknowledge the fact that they messed up and try to reach out to me. They don't care about me. They have made that very clear right from the beginning. I was just holding out hope that maybe at some point they would change their mind and come around. I have always tried to be a good daughter and a good sister and whatnot to all of them, hoping that they would realize at some point that I am also a part of their family and they need to value me. But I'm afraid that that's never going to happen. Now, a lot of people might call me stupid and stuff by hoping that they might love me, but I can't help it. These people are my family and the way they have been emotionally neglecting me for so many years, it really hurts. I don't know why I'm talking about it right now, but I just feel like I want to let it out of my system and for all so I can regain some sense of normalcy. I feel bad about it, of course, but I'm just glad that the post has been taken down now and I know that they don't care about me. They never had and they never will. And that's just a harsh reality that I'm going to have to accept. I think I might have to block them again because it's for my own peace of mind. Giving them access to me just makes sure that in the future they can say whatever they want to me and I'll just have to deal with it. So it's better for me to cut all ties with them and shut the door for good. They are not my family and never have been. The only family I have moving past this point is going to be my grandparents and the people who have actually been there for me in these tough times. So thank you so much for going through my post and my updates, sticking by for all the support that you guys have shown me and for letting me know that I'm not alone in this situation. 
It means a lot to me. It truly does. Update three. Hi everyone, almost six months have passed since my last update and I'm so happy to tell you guys. I'm doing a lot better now than I was back then. I was in really bad condition mentally at that point of time and after that, I decided to start therapy because I was still trying to cope with the fact that my parents and I would never be back on good terms again and things would never be the same again. I did not have parents who loved me and not even my brother seemed to care about me. So now when I go back home from college, it will always be my grandparents' place and not the place that I had called home for so many years. It was a little difficult for me to accept at first, but after I blocked my parents and my brother and started therapy, I started finding it a bit easier to deal with it um, this time. For the Thanksgiving holidays, I had to go back to my grandparents' house since I do not have contact with my parents anymore. I was happy to learn that the people who are on my side have all cut any ties they had with my parents and they don't seem any worse off for it either, so I don't think I'm turning anybody against them like they had just tried to do to me. The family is divided into two sides right now. Some people are on my parents' side and some are on my side. So it's pretty much a weird situation right now, but whatever, they started it. My grandparents have cut ties with my parents and they don't know it yet, but all the inheritance is going to come to me. It's not going to go to them. My grandparents have already changed their will and just to avoid the drama, they have not told me anything about it to my parents yet. And it's going to stay that way because then they are not going to be able to find out until it's too late. This is just to make sure that in case there is an apology, it's going to be genuine. If my parents ever try to reestablish contact with me and try to make amends with me, it's going to be because they actually want to do so from the bottom of their hearts and not just because they want the inheritance. I think it's fair enough. I'm actually really thankful for my grandparents for being so supportive of me and for giving me the love and affection that I never got from my parents. I may never get back to the family that I once had, but it's fine because that was not the right family for me anyway. At least now I have the family that I deserve and I'm always going to be grateful for it. Stay tuned for more stories from Argo Relationships.